78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, so young Devin Haney, the American dream and the nightmare for your favorite fighter out there. Uh, took to his uh, ex page, formerly known as Twitter. And Devin Haney says, 10K tickets sold already. Now, this is a short amount of time for 10,000 tickets to be sold for his upcoming bout with Ryan Garcia, uh, especially at the price range they got. These tickets are taxing. Uh, Golden Boy is trying to break um, Barclay Center record, uh, attendance record, gate record, or whatever with this uh, with, with these tickets, uh, the prices that they got on sale. Uh, uh, so congratulations to Devin and Ryan. Done a great job of promoting this fight. Um, got the whole buzz. The buzz is, is just incredible. Everybody talking about it. Even the haters is talking about it, which is just going to further help the fight. So it's all love. Uh, you know, and for those of you that's wondering, on the bottom of the screen, screen um, Devin says uh, this was after sparring. Um, he posted, uh, he retweeted an interview where Ellie Setback was uh, in the gym. Uh, with Floyd Mayweather and Devin Haney after uh, Devin had sparred tank, that same footage that's been edited, chopped and screwed and uh, uh, made to look like some continuous whooping that uh, <laughs> that tank was supposed to be giving Devin. Um, if you watch this, Floyd Mayweather himself uh, doesn't say tank won the sparring. Ellie Setback doesn't say tank won the sparring. And other people who are there. Don't say Tank won the sparring. All they say is Tank Rock Dev. And the most pathetic part is, is that people are happy that that's all they care about. Well, Tank rocked him. He rocked him. We don't care if Dev Devin came back and won. A guy literally said that. I don't care if Devin came back and won. He got rocked. And that's all that matters to uh, the simple mind. So it is what it is. Hopefully this will encourage uh, Tank Davis and give his fans and himself some testicular fortitude and maybe – now he will want to take on young Devin Haney in the ring where it matters, where it counts, and uh, get get a nice payday. You know what I'm saying? But Devin has to stay focused on Ryan Garcia. Ryan is the prize right now. Go out here, destroy Ryan Garcia, uh, and catapult into superstar status. Devin Haney, if you just look around the YouTube streets, Devin Haney is the most talked about. He's the hottest thing uh, since Wonder Bread. You know, even the haters can't deny it because. Look, that's that he's their favorite topic because they know what's gonna happen. You talk about Dev, you're gonna get that certain amount of people attention gonna be over there. You know what I mean? These other guys ain't bringing it in like that. So, uh, uh, you know, it's it's okay if you don't like Devin Haney, but the facts are the facts. The kid, him and his father Bill, have done a phenomenal job in promoting Devin Haney. Phenomenal. All the stuff Bill been doing, all his antics, uh, it has all paid off, and it come down to this moment. Right, you even got Floyd Mayweather openly hating on Devin, which is a good. It's all good for business, you know what I'm saying? Because people see what it is now. I told you that plan uh, of releasing that tape was gonna backfire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because now, people who were there, more and more people are coming out saying, "Come on, Floyd, that's bogus." Like, why, why you didn't show the whole tape? So now Floyd basically looks like a mark uh, uh, for doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Even Tank ain't proud of the uh, of, of the of the. Uh, the way that table chopped the screw because he know he now he feel like a sucker you know what i'm saying ryan garcia had to come out let me see if i got that up here what ryan said there's more to the tape i'm really interested in the whole video plus in my opinion Devin was 16 and 17 and tank was already developed and becoming a man i actually think Devin figured out a way uh to walk out with the money doghouse rules first of all you know Devin walked out with the money you're just trying to save your face and save, cover yourself for when the real tape come out. You're trying to say, oh, see, I said it, it on this date. I said it March 1st that uh, uh, I believe Devin came back. You know what I mean? But don't worry, Ryan. It ain't going to be you who get the smoke anyway. When the real tape come out, it's going to end up being all the Tank fans that's running around here uh, acting like Tank Davis knocked out Devin Haney, which was a lie. He didn't knock out Devin Haney. But regardless of the fact, Ryan and Devin is going to be fighting – Hopefully Ryan makes it to the fight, but uh, the promotion for the fight is good. It's, it's working out in favor of these guys. When, with only with ten thousand tickets already sold, uh, Barclays Center. I'm not sure how many 
they hold. I think they hold less than twenty thousand, but uh, they got plenty of time to sell the rest of them, and they will, in my opinion. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Seven Eight Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC and number five hit those deuces.